Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, maybe uh, this guy will behave himself long enough so we could have just a couple minutes of uh, video of him. This is a Gloides uriensis, a uh, Mamushi uh, from Eastern uh, Russia and Western China and goes throughout China and Japan. Different uh, species of Gloides are found there. They used to be uh, in the Echistrodon uh, group, but uh, they've been uh, subsequently uh, have their own genus now, Gloides. Uh, this is like a two or three year old male, uh, not a great feeder. We lost, uh, lost three out of the four. Uh, that I brought in. Uh, as you can see, it's very friendly, like most Echistrodon uh, type snakes. It's a pit viper. It has a uh, your typical mix of uh, pit viper uh, uh, enzymes and proteins, all of which makes your day very unpleasant if you happen to get bit by one. Uh, also, uh, there's probably a uh, a nephrotoxin in there, uh, just a bite report from somebody I know, he went into renal failure, uh, so who knows. This guy's a sporadic feeder, I've had to force feed him to get him this far, he's been eating now off and on on his own for the past year, uh, he just uh, doesn't like, uh, uh, like to be played with so much, so I leave him alone. Also, the fact that I don't have anti-venom for them, and not sure there's any in the U.S., but that's the Mamushi. Do you really think you're entitled to more food, dear girly? Huh? Look at the size of that booty on you. Look at the size of you. Huh? I know, I know, I see you breathing, and you already uh, slid up the gr glass with your mouth open. you. Rough death adder cam. Yeah, that be you. All right, I will. Uh, I will give you something to eat. Uh oh, there you go. At least do I get a happy death on her? Thank you. Oh, happy death on her. Not so happy mouse. Now go on inside and uh, and eat your Tucker. There you go. There you go. Hi, Mr. Benicius. No, you're not happy to see me. Are you waving your junk around, huh? I already gave you something to eat. Mr. Benicius is... is pissed because... Uh, it's lights out in here, and I'm still here, and they hate to move around and uh, and get caught doing things, don't you? Huh? That's the snake way. 
This is Trimosaurus Panisius. Very foul little uh, customers, but quite beautiful. Hello. Can I get your tail? Oh, you're going to protect your tail, aren't you? You're going to protect your tail. I know, I see you. Hello, Mr. Panisius. He's a very pretty fellow, huh? Can I take your picture, huh? Are you going to behave long enough to take a picture? Well, that's not a very nice greeting. I was just going to offer you some water. This is uh, an arid land snake, so I don't know exactly if it'll want water, maybe. There we go. There you go, have a nice drink. Have a nice drink. There we go. Is that tasty, huh? <laughs> As I uh, keep my fingers well back because, you know, this is a pit viper. And uh, those heat sensitive pits can certainly pick up the heat signature of my fingers. And uh, I don't want to take a hit from a rattlesnake. This is the young Mr. or Mrs. Brown in training. Pygmy Mulga Snake. <laughs> As you can see, lightning fast. Uh, ultra hyper. He's, uh, he's outgrowing that. Uh, he's going to have to go into bigger quarters uh, very soon. He's enjoying some frozen thought geckos which now he's actually uh, taking from the forceps before I used to have to leave him in there under his log and uh, he or she would uh, devour them uh, in my uh, absence. Okay, well, that's all because I don't want him getting out, zooming around the room, uh, all that good stuff. So we're going to do this gently. You're okay, bud. You're okay. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a little early to tell whether that tail is male or female. You know, sometimes I wonder why I even keep these things. They're just totally out of control 24-7, but uh, they're really sort of, you know, interesting animals. You know, they're sort of plain in color and, you know, sort of this beige, but... Uh, they're really sort of endearing. Uh, they move unlike any other elapid that I've seen. Uh, they do that uh, porpoising sort of attack. Uh, just a very interesting snake uh, from Papua New Guinea and Irinjawa. Uh, Sudecus rasanoli, as it's known at present. Okay, bud, that's all. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> You look, maybe I'll give you another. Hmm? Uh, we'll see. We'll maybe come back. Uh-oh. Head's turning. Hey, bud. He just shed. I'm almost afraid to take him out of there to see how big he actually has grown. had this guy since he was a hatchling. He came to me from my good friend Kurt, uh, who's no longer with us. Uh, that guy knew how to, how to breed snakes. Uh, uh, he was truly uh, uh, the expert. Uh, he's a big boy and I've got a female from Malaysia that I got from, from my friend Joe. Um, problem is, if they bite one another, there's probably no cross immunity uh, to each other's venom and I may lose one or both. Uh, so I'm a little bit hesitant putting, putting them together. Are you the foul one or the not so foul one? Oh, you're the really foul one. You're the really foul one. Roar! I'm a Nichii and I'll bite the snot out of you. That's a theorist Nichii.
Oh, is she a foul creature? The other one is not uh, not so bad. And we're going to actually transplant her. Hello. Yeah, relax. Relax. There you go. There you go. I know you're you're snappy too. But that's the way of the Nishii. <laughs> They leave no uh, no uncertainty about how they feel on you intruding on their life, huh? Yes, indeed. You are a foul beast. Okay, so let's get your little water dish here <laughs> and drop it from a high because I'm not sticking my fingers down there. And I even think that this pair of forceps I got in my hand are way too short. Are they, huh? Yeah, way too short. Well, now I've got a hook and I'm well out of reach, so you're just gonna have to keep on uh, trying. Uh, that's the one thing I don't like about this substrate is the word wood can be very coarse. There we go. Here, you want to eat this on your own, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, you're ready for battle now, huh? You know what's coming. You are just a fast little bugger. And it's very difficult to pick up. Now come on, no trying to turn your head off tonight. Come on. Grr. See, he's already trying to twist and turn. Yeah. Yeah, I know this must be unpleasant, but... Uh, uh, no turning that head there to stick me. You are just so small and so difficult to work with. There you go. Well, I'm sorry, dude, but that's the way this snake gets stuffed. Hi. We decided that you were going to get another one, okay? You want another one? Be nice. Don't slam it and hurt yourself. Well, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I'm opaque, but I'll still eat something. Hoppers for you. You're going to be a problem, aren't you? Aren't you? You smell nice. You smell nice, but you need water.
they can be quite uh, belligerent and in no time flat. Mm-hmm. What? When I was backing up. Did I encroach on your space, huh? Oh, <laughs> like the piece of spaghetti. <laughs> Smacking my lips. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is that good, huh? Get all that m mouse juice down there. It's really interesting to watch from underneath. Mm. Well, not every snake lifts their head like that. She's mm -hmm. most puffies don't do that. Um, I think she's just draining all the, you know, the secretions in her mouth. And down the hatch. Sucking down as much of the fluid as she can. She, as far as I know, she doesn't drink from the ball, and she occasionally will drink uh, from a squeeze bottle, but, you know, when I do that, it's like, oh... What kind of mood are you in? Is that okay, huh? Huh? Yeah, I moved. Still blowing a little bubblies, huh? Yeah, that's all for tonight. Hi, Mr. Mamba. That's Good night. Good night. That's all. This is what happens when you come face to face with Blunt. You are Blunt, huh? Yeah, I think you're Blunt. Either that or you're the other guy. Checking out the camera, huh? Or is this Slinky? It's hard to tell. Uh, I think Slinky's up in the tree. Hmm? What? You know if you behave, you can come out. No, I don't have any food there, Blunt. Now I'm without a hook. What? What do you think you're doing, huh? What do you think you're doing there, Mr. Blunt? <laughs> Spreading a little hood, huh? How about I take a picture, huh? You'll let me take a picture? Go on. Why are you going up, huh? Go. That's right. Go in that direction. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, I know. You're not like Slinky. You don't necessarily like to be touched. Do you, huh? Hi, Slink. See, these guys are sort of adventurous. They're not like the other snakes. If the door is open, uh, they want to make a, a break for it. And here comes the other one. I think, I, I, unfortunately, I have three males here. Really? Now you are a bit piggish. 
This is the female Eastern Brown. She eats all the food that I put in there. Come on, for the male. Yes, you know you don't share, so you got to go in the tub while he gets something to eat. Come on, come on. It's she's not apt to really bite. But she will run. Come on. And boy, can she run. The male, on the other hand, can be quite aggressive. Come on. You're making my life difficult. because the male's up top and I don't know exactly where the head is. Come on. We've done this before. Come on. Come on. Now I'll let things settle down and I will uh, provide the male with a mouse and hopefully he'll eat it.